In a recent video, we discussed the software that should never be installed on any PC. If you're looking for the programs that should be installed, we've got you covered. So coming up, I'll share with you the PC programs we do recommend using in various categories, both free and paid, that we think are the best, most of which are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Let's get to it. The web browser is one of the most essential programs for any computer. The most used internet browser right now is Google Chrome. Lacking features found in other browsers, it's good for those of you that just need something basic without any bells and whistles. If you need additional features not found in Chrome, you have many choices that are also free. Microsoft Edge is a feature-rich browser that now includes AI features built in as part of its relationship with OpenAI. If privacy is the most important factor for you when choosing a browser, Brave is what we recommend. For productivity, nothing tops Vivaldi. I've mentioned this one many times over the years. It has the most productivity features and customization options of any browser. A while ago, we created a beginner's guide. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link to this one and the others related to this video in the description. All those mentioned are based on Google's Chromium. Firefox is only one of a few not based on Chromium with a good feature set. That's also good for those of you that are privacy focused. And for a different type of browser offering a cleaner and calmer experience, there's the Arc browser. We did a tutorial for this one recently too. Unlike the previous browsers mentioned, available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, Arc is only available for Mac and Windows. An office suite for most people is a necessity. The absolute best office suite is Microsoft Office, which they now call Microsoft 365. It includes several programs built in. The most used are Microsoft Word, which is a word processor. For creating spreadsheets, there's Excel. And for creating presentations, there is PowerPoint. Available for Windows and Mac OS, pricing for Microsoft 365 starts at around $7 per month. As an alternative for the low price of $0, the open source LibreOffice is the best free office suite. It includes alternatives to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint with much improved compatibility with Microsoft Office formats. LibreOffice is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. The media players built into your computer to play your audio and video files are decent, but are lacking in features and functionality. VLC Media Player is the first of two free media players that are actually better than anything you could pay for. Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, the free and open source VLC has no ads, spyware, or user tracking. There's no need for codec packs, and it supports most audio and video file formats, including those strange looking formats you might have never heard of. Pop Player is another media player to try out that's preferred by many people. This freeware program for Windows PCs only is lightweight, includes a wide range of settings and customizations, and supports a large variety of media formats. To take more advanced screenshots than what you can with the tools built into your operating system, we have a few picks for you. The first of which is Snagit. From the folks at TechSmith, this one is feature packed. In addition to the standard screenshot, it lets you capture a scrolling screen, capture multiple areas in a single screenshot, and it has a basic screen recorder built in. When you're done capturing your screen, you can add text, highlights, shapes, and arrows, along with other annotation tools. Snagit is available for Windows and Mac OS with pricing that starts at around $30 per year. This next one feels like a paid program, but it's not. For free and only available for Windows is the open source ShareX. We have a beginner's guide for this one. If you've seen our video or used it, then you already know that it has a ton of features as well. This is the screen capture tool I use daily. Included are more than a dozen capture methods, including a scrolling capture and includes a basic screen recorder to capture what's on your screen. Also included is a good variety of annotation tools to mark up your capture. And the third screenshot tool to not be overlooked is the free and open source FlameShot. Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, this one is easy to use with a good number of features, making it a great pick for beginners. If you need software to record what is on your screen, Camtasia from the folks at TechSmith is what a lot of professionals use. In addition to recording what is on your screen, it can record a built-in or external camera, and it can record audio coming from your microphone. 
It also has a video editor built in to create videos for any purpose. There are tons of filters and effects, transitions, animations, and a whole lot more. Camtasia is available for Windows and Mac OS, and they do offer a generous 60-day free trial. After the trial ends, pricing starts at around $135 per year. The best free screen recording software is OBS Studio. Available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, this free and open source program is better than most of the paid for programs and does not have any watermarks or time limits to use it. We have a beginner's guide for this one as well. Some of its features include the ability to stream live to Twitch and other services. It lets you set up an unlimited number of scenes and there's an audio mixer with per source filters. When it comes to image editing software for creatives and photographers, Photoshop is the first name for most that comes to mind. It has all the features you would ever need for image creation or to edit an existing image. Now included with its latest beta of Photoshop is their Firefly AI tools. One of its tools lets you create new images using text. Available for Windows and Mac OS, one downside of Photoshop is it's only available with a subscription with pricing that starts at around $23 per month. The best image editor I've used without reoccurring fees is Affinity Photo. It also has a comprehensive number of features to create new images, edit existing images, and it's good for touching up photos. Affinity Photo offers an insane free trial of six months of usage for no charge. After the trial ends, pricing for the Windows and Mac OS version is a one-time payment of around $35. And for free, nothing tops the open source image editor, GIMP. As mentioned in our free software series, this program is great for something as simple as touching up a photo or creating a brand new image from scratch. We've done a couple videos for GIMP, including a beginner's guide and a tips and tricks video. Links to those are in the description. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. When creating scalable vector graphics that look good no matter the size, the industry standard right now from Adobe is Illustrator. It has more than enough tools that you'll likely need. Available for Windows and Mac OS, pricing starts at around $23. For a one-time payment, Affinity wins again with their program they call Designer. While not as feature-packed as Illustrator, it has most of the tools that most users would ever need. Offering the same six-month free trial as Affinity Photo, Designer offers a one-time fee for Windows and Mac OS of around $35. And for the low price of free is the powerful open source vector graphics editor, Inkscape. This is a great alternative to Illustrator and even supports Illustrator's SVG file format. Inkscape offers multiple tools and the ability to work with layers for creating new graphics or to edit existing graphics. Inkscape is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Having a reliable video editor is a must have for those creating videos for any purpose, including those that post on YouTube or any other service. Premiere Pro from Adobe is the one I keep coming back to when not testing out other video editors. Being the industry standard, it has most of the tools any video creator would ever need. It supports an unlimited number of tracks, has dozens of transitions and effects, and allows for multicam editing. A link to our beginner's guide is in the description Premiere Pro is available for Windows and Mac OS. Sadly, like most Adobe products, it has reoccurring fees. Pricing starts at around $23 per month. I've got a couple free picks in the video editor category, first of which is DaVinci Resolve. The free version should be enough for most people with multi-track timeline editing, along with cool transitions and effects to make your project stand out. Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, DaVinci Resolve has a couple downsides to be aware of. You'll need a computer that can meet or exceed its system requirements. And when compared to most video editors, it can take longer to learn how to use it. For those needing a lower learning curve or have a computer with low system specs, Shotcut is what we recommend. Also available for all three of the major platforms, this free and open source video editor includes multiple tools and support up to 4K. This one is for you programmers or future programmers out there. The absolute best source code text editor free or paid is Visual Studio Code. Available from Microsoft for free, it supports just about every programming language you can think of, and it also includes support for hundreds of extensions to enhance its functionality. One extension I highly recommend is GitHub Copilot. 
It's great for helping to generate code, it can help to fix errors, and a whole lot more. It's well worth getting for $10 a month after a free trial to save time and get more work done. Visual Studio Code is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. For creating 3D computer graphics, the free and open source Blender is a must-have program. Better than anything else you could pay for, it's been used to create animated films, video games, motion graphics, and a whole lot more. There's a bunch of tools included for digital sculpting, modeling, animation, and also included is a built-in video editor. As I've said in the past, Blender is one of the best free and open source programs to ever be created. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links to our beginner's guide tutorials are located in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What PC programs do you use that you think are great? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff.